West Indian female cricketer Miss Tremaine Smart talks about the West Indies women's team's recent victory against Australia in the ICC T20 World Championship in this report. On Sunday, April 3rd, 2016, the West Indies women's team converted their maiden appearance in a World 2020 final into a historic victory in Kolkata beating three-time defending champions Australia for the first time in a T20 international by pulling off the second highest chase in the tournament's history. Two Guyanese players, who were born and raised in Burbis, were a part of the Windies team, namely Tremaine Smart and Shameen Campbell. Upon her return home, Miss Smart was honored by the All Saints Anglican Church Sunday School, where she has been an active member for a number of years. During a recent interview with Channel 8 News, Miss Tremaine Smart disclosed that her team was confident that they would defeat the Australian women. Yes, we were very confident knowing that we just need that extra step to beat Australia and we do have the ability and the skills to do it. So we, on that day, we give it our best and play to the best of our ability and we stick to the basic things that the coach has told us and stick to the plan. The 30-year-old West Indian cricketer then went on to describe the reaction of her team the moment they won the tournament. The celebration it with the champion dance, it was great, especially with the guys at the end too, when the guys win. We enjoyed that a lot. The feeling was great, words cannot explain, especially the fact that we worked together as a team and we had a motto where we s believing in faith, Mo sorry, moving in faith. And that worked for us along with the gelling with the team and keep the team spirit high. That is what really works for us. So that is what really worked and helped us to get to that um, championship. And it's not about just winning the World Cup. It's a great feeling to bring back joy in the Caribbean as well, whereas we have the Triple Crown. And it's something that we achieve and assure the West Indian fans that really wasn't supporting us, get back to supporting us by us winning those three championships, those three World Cup. Recently, there has been much talk about the poor reception that the two players had upon their arrival in Guyana. When asked to comment on that issue, Miss Smart had this to say. I wouldn't have much to say about that, but it's something, you know, people do make mistakes and we do accept it and they come forward and do something and we gladly and appreciate what they have done so far for us. We actually received something from the government, DigiCell, which is our sponsor, and the Guyana Cricket Board. We received something last night from the Guyana Cricket Board and Gidgemos and Gadgets as well. When asked about her future plans, Ms. Tremaine Smart stated that she will be continuing her cricketing career. She also offered a few words of encouragement to females who would like to pursue similar careers in cricket. My future plan is actually the same, as in continue training and working hard. We're now looking forward to play the regional in July and hope for a selection for the West Indies and then England's supposed to come to the Caribbean. And we also have a tour coming up where we go back to India. My encouragement is to, once you want to play the game and you do, once you want to play the game, just come out. Believe in yourself. Uh, there will be coaches to assist you to, to get towards success. But be, to get to success, you need to work hard. You need to work hard and believe that you can, whatever you set out to do, you can do it. At the conclusion of her interview, the cricketer extended acknowledgments to her sponsors and supporters. I'd like to say thanks to my club management, Mr. Carl Moore and his son, and also the fellas at my club, the teammates that support me as well, and my families and friends, and all the supporters that support us. 2016 has been a historic year for West Indian cricket following the victories of the West Indian Under-19 men's and women's team World Cup titles. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.